Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 5K. But what I am worrying about is the big dog who said good morning, and disappeared in the thin, greenish vapor. I am not satisfied with my explanation of why I rejected him. Considering some of my acceptances, it seemed illogical to turn down the dog who said good morning, except that only to the purist, or the scholar, can there be either the logical or the illogical. We have to get along with the logical illogical in our existence of the hyphen. Everything that is said to be logical is somewhere out of agreement with something, and everything that is said to be illogical is somewhere in agreement with something. I need not worry about the big dog who said good morning, if, considering some of my acceptances, I inconsistently turn him down, I am consistent with something else, and that is the need in every mind to turn down something, the need in every mind that believes, or accepts anything, to consider something else silly, preposterous, false, evil, immoral, terrible, taboo. It is not necessary that we should all agree in being revolted, shocked, or contemptuous. Some of us take in Jehovah, and some of us take Allah, to despise, or to be amused with, to give us limits within which to seem to be, and to give it contrasts by which to seem to be, every mind must practice exclusions. I draw my line at the dog who said good morning, and disappeared in the thin, greenish vapor. He is a symbol of the false and arbitrary and unreasonable and inconsistent, though of course also the reasonable and consistent, limit, which everybody must somewhere set, in order to pretend to be. You can't fool me with that dog story.